We wanted to design a state-of-the-art building. We wanted to have it be forward-facing and innovative. When we started to envision what we wanted to have in Athens, I sent teams of people out all around the country to learn about what are the best and most innovative things that are going on. We've designed a completely new curriculum. It's expected that students will deliver health care in a team-based fashion, and so the Pathways of Health and Wellness curriculum reflects that by building a large number of team-based activities where students interact with each other. We realized that we were going to need to move from a traditional lecture hall space into a more versatile space for learning. Our lecture halls are built from old dormitories and they reflect that in their both age and structure. Students are sitting backwards with computers on their laps and in a lecture style like theater seating which is an ideal for student interaction and collaboration. Students now have such a wide range of technology and availability that their learning environment and the way that I learned are so different. And I think by building a new facility, we'll be in the environment to deliver towards the future rather than the way we did in the past. Faculty are used to interacting with students in the traditional sorts of environments that you think about. So the, the classroom, the lecture hall, uh, the laboratory. In, in our new facility and in our new curriculum, we have uh, relatively few sort of traditional lectures. Instead, we're actually opting more for a guide by the side sort of approach to, to education. In other words, rather than students necessarily coming to a faculty's office and, and the faculty members sitting behind the desk, the students and the faculty can work in an environment where there are less sort of um, intellectual walls or power walls between people. And what that, that means is that the students and faculty can interact in a much more collaborative manner. We're on the same team, we all have the same goal. And the new space um, is actually going to be really promoting that sense of unity. I think there's innovation throughout the new campus. I think the idea too of having space where students can go for wellness uh, is a key part to the, the new curriculum that the Heritage College has implemented. One of the things that we learned as we designed our Dublin and Cleveland campus is that the environment can affect people. It can affect their work, it can affect how productive they are, it can affect how our students study. So we tried to design a building with all of that in mind. Lots of natural light coming into the space, promoting wellness to get to the building, wellness in the building, and to try to have the optimal environment for students to learn. It's going to be beautiful, um, it's going to be healthy, a well building, and also the, all the other teaching spaces are going to be really innovative and allow us to really um, do the kinds of things that we haven't before. Well, I'm really excited for the vibe that this new building is going to have. I think we're going to go in there and faculty and students are going to be, they're going to feel different. They're going to be excited, they're going to be engaged, they're going to be approaching academics in a different way. They're going to be approaching in a much more collaborative and positive manner. So we're hoping it's going to be a sort of a quantum leap forward for our students. They probably won't even notice because if we're doing it right, it'll be seamless. Our plan for our new building is actually so much bigger than just a building. It's actually part of a new green for Ohio University, the Union Street Green, and I like to say that we're helping to seed the new green. Now that Ohio University, it's really come into its own in terms of education and preparing for the workforce of the future. The Osteopathic Heritage Foundation is so proud to be a part of the development of the new Athens campus. Now is a fascinating time for medicine. As the allopathic and osteopathic worlds meet, there's uncertainty about how to preserve the osteopathic philosophy of medicine. And this new facility will ensure that the distinctive philosophy, hands-on approach, um, treating the patient and not the disease, that mentality will continue. Curriculum's evolving all the time. So we've designed a forward, flexible, innovative space that 10 years from now will be contemporary with care delivery and medical education and not be stuck where we are right now.